who are deep chairs, my son is always afraid to tell us, you know, to talk about the other gender. Because he goes, Dad, you know, you might ask him the 2,300 days on the first time you meet. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're going to be nice, right, for the first time. Okay, number two. <laughs> Seek counsel. Ask someone who knows her personality. You want to be able to ask questions because when someone knows that another man, somebody is attracted to her, she may act only a certain way that she thinks is going to be attractive to that person. So she can pretend to be someone else. Okay, question to ask when seeking for counsel. Very, very important question. Will this relationship get us heavenward? Heavenward. Because if you cannot see this person going with, with you in heaven, don't do it. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. Number two. Will it increase my love for God? Will having a relationship with this person make us closer to God? Is it going to get us closer or is it going to take us away from God? Very important questions. Number three, will it enlarge my sphere of usefulness in this life? What that also means is that if you want to serve the Lord, you want to have someone who's willing to serve the Lord together with you. Because if that person's master is their career, you'll be serving the Lord in the mission field by yourself. And your husband and your wife will be just be stuck at work trying to earn money. Uh, a male has their sphere of influence. A woman has their sphere of influence. A married couple, their sphere of influence broadens, correct? Mm -hmm. right? And after that, if you have children, it broadens even more. So you want to be the most effective evangelism tool wherever you are. If, it in, if these reflections present no drawback, then the fear of God will fall. So if you can ask all of these questions with a positive answer towards that person that you are interested in, then you can move forward. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean up on your own. But he loves me. But she's so beautiful. But he loves me. <laughs> she can cook too. Now on your own understanding, in all his ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct you. You know, when we were growing up, when I was young, we had, we, there were five of us best friends. And one of the pact that we made with each other is, if we have a relationship with someone, our friend has to approve. Why? Because there are things, because of the feelings that we have, we may not be able to see the character of that person that other people can. And let me tell you, that is a very also safe gauge for you to see whether or not the person that you want to choose will get along with your family and your friends. So, love is? Great. Do you pray with this person, even though when you're before your courtship, do you pray for this? 11.30. Yeah. What time is that? Yeah, we're already past that. We're past that. Okay. Any questions? If you're coming for back for our next session,